Hey guys, what's up? By Sectron here from Clash of Clans Manual. And this is the video I talked about in the last war recap of the scrimmage. I um, kind of want to show a new attack strategy type thing. Not really anything too new, but um, just kind of a new way of looking at bases that can help take them out. Because uh, it worked well for me. Um, and I'm not saying it works for every base, but it's something that we see more and more often is the offset queen. And lately people have been putting the CC also over to the side, kind of by that queen, trying to like jam you in the corner because it's hard to kill the CC uh, with that tight space there. And they're trying to basically make you either waste time with it or kind of get jammed up in the corner with it. Uh, so a little bit offset makes it a little bit trickier. Um, but basically I'm going to show a few attacks I did and kind of my method for taking care of some of these bases. And you can also apply it to different type bases. It's not obviously just for uh, the offset queen and CC like this. Um, but Basically what I'm doing is I'm starting off with the queen walk and what you want to do is find an area that could have, you know, single bombs, double bombs, even better, but something that you want to neutralize, um, probably a lot of point defense, uh, something that's worth uh, worthwhile for your queen to take out using three, four healers, somewhere in that range. Um, but you also want to make it through a spot where the queen is not being hit by any point defense and that's where you want her to take out the CC troops. So basically I'm starting my queen down at the bottom here. I'm gonna drop her right in this area and then three healers on her like that. Um, and basically uh, she's gonna take this out, take this out. I'm dropping a wizard right here just to take these two buildings out. And then she's gonna step up into right into this area as she targets uh, this elixir storage and after that, she's going to make her way up this way, which is where I want her to end up. But I also lure out the CC with a few barbs right here. And then she's going to deal with the CC troops uh, right here. Um, have the ability plus the poison. It turns out there's a golem, so I don't have to use either one. But if, if need be, I could have. Uh, she's back to full health because you want her to t you want to time it right so she deals with the CC in an area where she's not being hit by any point defense. Um, obviously, if there's a few mortars hitting her, no big deal. Uh, but want to keep her away from those cannons, archer towers, that kind of stuff. Uh, so while she deals with the CC troops, I'm just going to attack at the queen. So I'm going to wall break her in right here, wall break her in right here. Um, create a funnel, obviously, with wizards, minions, nice and wide because I'm bringing Valks. Um, then bring my Valks, my king, and my golem all up here with more wall breakers to bust in. Um, like I said, getting through both layers of there. Then I'm going to drop an early heal right here just to deal with all that high HP buildings. Obviously, there's some wizard towers shooting in, which don't do that much damage, but the, there's the expo, a uh, cannon, uh, plus the queen's going to do some damage. So you want to make sure everything's at full health basically when it leaves here because when you drop a jump right here, uh, now you're entering uh, kind of the Tesla giant bomb trap area. So going to need some firepower to deal with it. Um, drop a second heal right here. Um, that's going to keep all my troops up as they take out Teslas and stuff. And basically the plan was also to neutralize double giant bomb spots. Well, as it turns out, the giant bombs are in here. Not that big of a deal because I'm just kind of surgical hogging around. Uh, sorry, not there. That's where my queen's going. I'm kind of surgical hogging around up at the top here. And then over on this back side. Um, and dropping a heal early for all these defenses. So a few get blown up right here to the giant bomb, but not really a big deal. Uh, the whole point is that you kind of want to diversify your troops, so don't invest in too much. You have the queen walk, you have the kill squad, and you have the hogs, and those three I kind of invest in equally, so even if some of the hogs get blown up, I still have the other two uh, to take out the rest of the base. Plus, you know, not all my hogs are going to one place. Just about half of them get blown up, so uh, really, this strategy is just about kind of taking the base at face value, uh, attacking at the queen, and then uh, using those heals on the king, the gold, and the valk, because I think the heal spell on your kill squad's a little bit underrated. Um, it works on hogs, obviously, but uh, the way I'm using it, the hogs are kind of just surgical. You don't only really need one heal. Uh, so we'll take a look at the attack, then I'll show one more, and we'll wrap this up. All right, going back in the Clash of Clams really quick, and I'm going to get that war going that I just uh, showed you guys earlier. You can check out the war recap for all the other attacks that everyone did, which is really awesome. Um, but going to show my first attack on the base I just showed 
Um, hit number four, Vicious. Um, this is a first attack. Don't know where anything is, but obviously suspect uh, stuff is in the core. Uh, like I said, the giant bombs didn't end up being there, but that's beside the point. Um, gonna drop my queen down in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna let the timer tick down a little bit. Uh, it's kind of my signature, I guess. Uh, dropping the queen down, take out both those army camps and the wizard, just to make sure that she pushes over to the left. Don't want her coming to the right here. That's where my kill squad's coming in. And you can see that golem comes out. Um, but look at this. The queen takes down that cannon. Then this was kind of the plan. Go up and start working on that uh, elixir storage. And the archer tower can't uh, target her there. So she's at full health. Then she's going to deal with this golem. Just kind of, kind of let that progress. Over on the right here, I think I missed the first wall breakers. Just dropped a barb to distract and a few wall breakers. Uh, now I drop the golem. Wizards to create the funnel. A few minions. Going to make it nice and wide. And then in just a moment, some more wall breakers and then my valks. Uh, so here come the wall breakers, king, valks. Um, the great thing is the queen wasn't targeting that golem, so it's still at pretty full health. And then a heal right here, like I talked about. Also getting the skeleton trap out of that. You can see the queen still working on those golemites. And instead of walking like I wanted her to, uh, she starts being on a wall, uh, which kind of is unfortunate, but at least she's still up. She's going to take out more buildings. Um, set the jump and the second heal, keep everything moving. Those wizard towers are kind of taking out my wizards, and at the end you'll see they don't go down. I should have dropped a few hogs on them, uh, but just wasn't thinking, didn't get the hogs down. And then there's four Teslas right in this area, uh, but my king, my Valks are at full health and they leave the queen's compartment, so they're free just to take that down those Teslas. Not really a big deal when they're at full health, and I have the king's ability, which I use right there. Like I said, hogs get blown out to giant bombs, um, but I still have a big group at the top, and that golem is still tanking. The heal spells obviously help the golem stay alive a little bit longer because it hasn't busted yet. Um, and like I said, those wizard towers are still up. Now, it's not that big of a deal because I have my king, my queen, wizards for cleanup, but what happens is actually all the splash damage from these wizard towers plus these six little bombs that go off is my hogs just barely get it down, but... I uh, have enough juice to get the job done. I should have had a few backside hogs just to uh, take out those wizard towers. Uh, that was actually in my plan. I just forgot to drop those hogs. Would have made it go a little bit smoother, but still get the three star and just in that one building over here to take out. With a swag poison, which I never dropped because the CC troops and the skeletons just didn't get an opportunity to drop it. Um, Second attack I did, also a fresh hit, so don't know where anything is on Thor. A little bit of a different base, but kind of the same concept. Um, this one, uh, also doing a queen walk. I'll fast forward to when I start. I'm um, going to start over on the left here. Uh, drop in kind of a barb to distract that mortar, then a wizard, just to create this funnel, keep the queen going. And also, this is also a funnel for my kill squad, which I'm going to bring up top. Um, so that all works out. Um, now I have the healers going down, the queen, uh, she gets a little bit low here, but uh, at this point she's getting point defense one at a time, so she's going to go back to full health. And in the meantime, I'm going to drop that golem, or sorry, drop that giant and get the golem lured out. Um, and then she'll be at full health by the time that golem gets over there, so that all works out very nicely. And the golem does chase her for a little while because she's a lot faster than it, uh, but eventually it catches up. Meanwhile, I'm starting with a Valk to tank while I drop my wizards for a funnel. And the idea was a golem would have aggroed the queen, so I don't want to have that golem lose a lot of health. I want to drop it later. So here comes the golem. Uh, the problem was a lot of my wizards died from the funnel. Uh, but get, get wall breakers going. I have like five, so I really bust open. And then the wizards, a few more, create the funnel. All that's going good. The queen dealing with the golem down there. And then obviously the king and the valks, like I said, making their way through with that first heal. I, I, I like healing that compartment with the queen in it. That basically allows the Valks to be, like I said, full health once they leave here and have to deal with Teslas. Because you know this compartment looks very suspicious with all that open space. Um, now I'm dropping four hogs right here. The idea was to get in there, trigger bombs, because I thought there would be a double set kind of by that expo. It turns out they don't trigger anything, so just a single bomb, which is okay. But my main group of hogs coming in on the back, another single bomb goes off, and I have the poison to try to get those skeletons down. But the main thing is I have a second heal for my Valks, which I dropped a little ways back, and that keeps the king, the Valks, all that stuff up. 
I still have the King's ability, which I'll use right here. And then all my hogs get basically destroyed by a double giant bomb set. Besides one down here, which is kind of a hero, takes down that cannon. Uh, but the Queen's full health. Still have her ability. Might have wanted to use it on the Golem just to get it down faster. But I decided to save it, so I use it right here. And then... I have so many uh, Valks and I think three plus the King and all his barbs left over that they can take out that last Tesla. And then from there, just one building up at the top here. So basically to summarize this strategy, uh, it's pretty effective for the offset uh, Queen and uh, offset CC. You can use it in other situations, but you want to start that Queen on a Queen walk, take out some defenses, uh, possibly some giant bomb spots. And then once she gets to an area where she's free of any point defense on her, uh, that's when you want the CC troops to get over to her and she can take those out with a poison in her ability. And then from there, uh, you can start in the king, the golems, uh, or the king, the golem, and some valks up top, basically to start working their way through, plus some hogs on the other side. Uh, you can use the heals how you want. I prefer to use two heals on the valks and one on the hogs, just because I like healing the kill squad a little bit more, but... A lot of variations of this, obviously not anything new, just kind of the way I like to use these troops. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the attacks if nothing else, and maybe something you can use in your uh, clan wars if you're at this level. Uh, that's going to do it though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.